Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. After months of often heated discussion, leaving officials steamed, Page County officials are moving forward on purchasing boilers for the county courthouse. Meeting a regular session last night, the Page County Board of Supervisors unanimously approved moving forward with over a $208,000 contract with Siemens to replace the courthouse's two boilers and control systems. However, rather than utilizing ARPA funds, the board opted to have County Auditor Melissa Wellhausen determine how the purchase can be covered through Department 99 or non-departmental funds and local option sales tax revenue. Shenandoah officials hope to have a school resource officer hired by the end of this month or the end of next month, rather. Earlier this year, the Shenandoah School Board and City Council approved a 28E agreement for an SRO beginning in the 2023-24 school year. Shenandoah Police Chief Josh Gray tells KMA News seven applications were received for that position. Gray says the first stage of testing takes place on Saturday, the physical testing, and then they'll go from there. The chief says he hopes to have somebody hired by the end of July. Iowa Secretary of uh, Iowa Agriculture Secretary Mike Nag is voicing concerns about the drought conditions and the possible impact on Iowa's crops. Uh, Nag says the state's crops took a step back this week because of dry conditions. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, he said 99% of the state is now experiencing some level of drought as opposed to 38% at this time last year. In fact, Nag says the drought is as bad in southwest Iowa as it is elsewhere in the state. And the city of Red Oak is getting online and digital updates. Earlier this week, the Red Oak City Council unanimously approved entering a website platform contract with Filament Essential Services for $5,250 a year. KMA on track weather, mostly sunny this afternoon, high near 90, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight with a low in the upper 60s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a great weekend. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.